Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How y'all doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I'm doing my beauty empties for quarter three. I used to do these every single month. I found that that was just a lot. So I started doing them quarterly and I have put like all of my makeup into my makeup rehab series. So all the empties that have to do with makeup are going to be in that series. This is my quarterly empties and all things skincare and all other things beauty, maybe fragrance, shampoos, conditioners, deodorants, those kind of things, soaps. So I hope that you're here for it. It is quarterly empties. However, I don't really think that this is a lot for quarterly empties. So I think it could be a really quick video. Um, and if that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep on watching. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high and colorful beauty and self-care. And ultimately I started this YouTube channel just because I like to talk about makeup and you people like to listen to people talk about makeup. So I wanted to be here at the pleasure of you, but also at the pleasure of me. This helps soothe my soul. It is my self-care. And I hope that you find that this channel brings you as much joy and solace to your soul as I know that it brings me. <laughs> With that said, let's roll into this quarterly empties because I have a, a lot here, but also not a lot here. So let's talk about it. So there are some of these products in here that you guys may have seen in my like turn and burn or um, deck of panning that I have finished. I think mostly turn and burn. So some of them might seem repetitive or like repeats to you, but I'm hoping that enough time has passed that they seem new. But with that said, let's start with hair care because I only have two things. <laughs> so these are the Matrix Food for Soft um, detangling, hydrating, shampoo, and conditioner. And these I actually gave to my daughter to use. I think that they smell delightful. They smell kind of like baby powder almost. These did a really good job. She has really super fine, long hair, so it does get tangled an awful lot. And these do a really good job of keeping her hair soft and detangled without having to use a detangler, which I feel like makes her hair look and feel a little bit more greasy than she likes it to. So she really did like this shampoo and conditioner. I may or may not purchase them again for her, but I do think that they did a really good job and they smell divine. So she, she liked them a lot and it was funny when she brought them in, she was like, can I get these again? <laughs> Another hair product that I had was this. This is the Chi, Fi uh, Chi Vibes wake and fake soothing dry shampoo. This is a dry shampoo that I myself was using. I mean, it's not a bad dry shampoo. It's not my favorite dry shampoo. I do feel like it does a really good job of cleaning the hair and making it feel like it's freshly washed, but I also feel like it leaves a white cast. So it's not my favorite, but it's also not my least favorite. And it was a thin enough, small enough like c container of it that I could take it in my go bag when I was out of town and it wasn't going, to, it didn't take up a whole lot of room in my bag. For body or just generalized all the things, I have this Tree Hut Vanilla Moisturizing Shave Oil. The Tree Hut Shave Oils, honestly, I went through a journey with shave creams and shave oils and found that like I loved EOS and um, before that I loved Gillette Venus and before that I loved, you know, whatever. EOS was my favorite for a long time and then I couldn't, they quit making it in like a squeeze tube and instead started making it in a pump and you couldn't get all of the stuff out of it. So I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not buying EOS again, but I got a Tree Hut shave oil, ran out of shave cream, needed to shave, whatever the case may be. I can't remember exactly how it went down, but I won't shave without a shave oil ever again. This is such a great product for keeping the moisture in your legs or wherever it is that you're shaving your armpits, wherever it is that you're shaving without stripping you know, the oils out of your skin and leaving your skin feeling just kind of raw after you shave. This one, vanilla, was, I mean, a wonderful scent. Vanilla is one of my favorite scents and I will continue to repurchase the 
tree hut shave oils they are fantastic i have never never cut myself shaving while using that shave oil then i have this bath and body works harvest gathering foaming hand soap you all know if you've been around my channel that this is the only like hand soap that i use i typically have like four or five of them in my empties per quarter i don't know how i only have one in here this quarter but this one is fresh picked apples autumn berries and clove buds as the scent notes it is a fall fragrance obviously and I think it smells like apple cider and I loved it and I got it last fall but I'm so excited to maybe replenish some of my hand soaps this fall with <laughs> another one of these but I went into my hand soap drawer and I mean clearly we're not using as much hand soap as we once had which I don't quite understand except for maybe because it used to only be in one or two places in my house and now it's in like five different places in my house so there's multiple different places to wash your hands and therefore the soaps we're not going through them nearly as much I still have so many gentle foaming hand soaps in my collection so I likely won't get to purchase this again this year because I don't think that I need to stock up again when I still have I think 20 gentle foaming hand soaps in my drawer and that's just too much my love of my life is always like what is going on with these soaps so the last thing I have I think from a body perspective I'm gonna say this comes from like a body perspective this is the Kanuka CBD healing skin balm and it is an empty container I will put it into my empties for the year but I will be keeping this container after the fact for a regular like just container to keep you know when you pan or when you have like a makeup collection um that you might need to have an extra spare container for for like makeup empties or whatever like remnants of stuff that you need to pull out maybe you're cutting something open you need these kind of containers and they do come in handy this is the uh, like i said kanuka um cbd healing skin balm and what I loved about this is that I really do feel like it did its due diligence to keep like my dry skin at bay. What I don't love about this is that it smelled awful and it is something that has been in my collection for a minute so maybe it had just gone bad but it, it was awful. I couldn't like lather it on my hands which get really super dry and cracked and bleedy. I couldn't put it on my elbows without continuing to smell it all day long and I hated the smell of it. So um, would I ever repurchase it? Probably not because I, I don't want to run the risk of that being the actual smell of it unless I can open it up and smell it again and that I did empty through turn and burn from a fragrance perspective I have a couple of things here this is one of the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works this is in spiced cardamom and this actually smelled a little bit like cinnamon apple but I also feel like in a very small space because it was in my bathroom it almost smell like pepper I do like the scent of it when the door was open and it permeated the entirety of the house it did smell good but when the door was closed and it was just the bathroom that smelled like it it was almost overpowering I would repurchase that though it does say it has scent notes of cinnamon spiced cardamom dark cedar wood and a pinch of nutmeg I do think that it smells like maybe apple pie baking apple pie and then I also have this little like Versace bright crystal that was emptied in my turn and burn and this is just not a fragrance that I love I will put the scent notes over over here for you so that you can see the scent notes and what the full-size bottle looks like I didn't love this it smelled so so much of floral I know that this is a favorite for a lot of people it's just not for me I did have some tools that are also in here so I was using and I don't know where it is come to think of it 
I was using a um, soap to clean my sponges with. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. That was that should have been in here because it was a skin. It was actually a skincare soap, but I was using it to clean my sponges because I didn't like it on my face. It was an exfoliating soap, and it it was by Urban RX, and it was too rough for my skin. Um, so I used it on my sponges instead. Well, it was brown and it stained my sponges so bad <laughs> that these were, this one specifically was a new sponge that I think I had only used like three or four times and I had washed it like three or four times with said soap, but it stained it so bad. I cannot, I cannot use these. They just, it just grosses me out to look at them even knowing that that's a stain I'm like what aspects of that soap are still in this guy I mean you can see this is like where I was pressing it into the soap is where it's just embedded into the the deep dark crevices of the <laughs> of the sponges so I won't use them they're stained they're gross they're brown they look gross and because they look gross I think that they're dirty and that puts my brain into don't use it mode and then I am also getting rid of this brush this is just I think a Morphe brush yeah this is a Morphe brush and I try and use it for eyeliner but it is just too splayed out it's not it doesn't get thin enough or fine enough for me so I'm just going to get rid of it because I feel like it's kind of ruined at this point. I forgot this for body. This actually is a body scrub as well. This is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub in the St. Bart's scent and man let me just tell you this smells so good. I would repurchase this over and over and over again just because of the smell of it. It smells so good. I want to keep it around because of the smell of it. This came to me in gratis. I would repurchase this. It is such a beautiful scent. A really nice moisturizing uh, body scrub as well. You know how sometimes you can get those um, sugar scrubs that are really thick and dense and don't have enough oil to them to make you feel like you're not only sloughing off the dead skin, but you're also sloughing off your healthy skin. <laughs> this was thick and dense, and I think that the the sugar crystals, if that's what it is, were big. They were nice and big. You felt like you were sloughing off the dead skin portions of your body that you were you were exfoliating your body in a really great way, but it also had enough like moisturization to it to make you feel like your skin was not thirsty, if that makes any sense. I didn't feel like it was going to be appropriate because I'm used to the tree hut ones that are mostly, you know, really fine grains of sugar in them and a lot of the moisturization oil. This didn't feel that same way. It was actually pretty dense. What I loved about this one is that the tree hut sugar scrubs, when you grab some out of the container, some of it, because it is a little less firmly packed, can fall out of your your hand when you're putting, you know, when you're rubbing it on your skin or whatever, and then go down the drain and you're losing that opportunity to use that on your body, right? And, and in a nutshell, wasting it. This was packed uh, thick, thick enough that there was no waste. Like I didn't find that it was slipping through my fingers down the drain or whatever it was. This was a really, really great sugar scrub and smelled so dang good. So I would repurchase that in a heartbeat. I did have a lot of skincare and I'm going to start with the full size pieces that I have and then I'll show you the ones that I finished in Turn and Burn. So I did have this Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. This was a serum that I was using every single day. I don't know that I have dark spots that need to be corrected anymore, but I do know that this was a really great serum. It was one of those air pumps. So 
it showcased itself on the bottom and then as it emptied it just kind of scrolls up scrolls up so I was watching it just kind of go away and was super sad but this lasted me a good probably month and a half I would just use two or three pumps of it on my skin every single day and it was beautiful it lasted about like I said about a good six weeks this is the Clinique smart clinical repair wrinkle correcting serum I also used this for a good probably six weeks I love this bottle it is beautiful it is glass which is makes it feel kind of like luxe and elite I use two pumps of this every single day it also lasted about six weeks I would just use it once a day both of those just once a day versus like two or three times and then at night I was using TLC Frambos Glycolic Night Serum by Drunk Elephant. This was in my turn in burn and when I ran out of that one I was using this one which is the Drunk Elephant a glowy maritinol oil. I'm not sure if like I had these in the right like order but this one became my night serum after this one was done. And I also used that at the same time as I was using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. All of these through Turn and Burn. I had also a Mario Badescu like brightening mask with vitamin C. This was also through Turn and Burn. It was just uh, ultimately a two time use product. I don't love it. It did make my skin it hardened and I hardened like hard and I feel like it took all of the moisture out of my skin so I probably would not repurchase this where I would repurchase all of these and if I remember correctly for both of these I was like I think I have a full-size version that I need to break out and I do but I did pull out two other different serums that I'm using right now so I'm trying to like cycle through all of my skincare things without like making my skin go crazy because I'm trying to change things up too often I also have this Estee Lauder nutritious melting soft cream mask this was a really really thick like moisturizing mask that was just really beautiful to wear I did not have a problem with this at all I actually quite liked it and I quite quite like the scent of it too I think that it's just not scented it's just like a clean scent but it is a beautiful beautiful melting soft cream mask it's really just a thick nice moisturizer that I wore at night and I loved it so dang much I would consider repurchasing that this is the Lancome Genifique night cream I love Lancome Genifique I would probably consider repurchasing this too. This was also something that was gone through in my turn and burn. And then last for moisturizers that were gone through through turn and burn was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I do have two full sizes of these that I got in gratis. And I love the Magic Cream, which is crazy sauce to me because I'm not a diehard Charlotte Tilbury fan as a matter of fact I like her lipsticks and her lip liners the wands which I think are like there's so many dupes out there right now that are maybe even frankly better uh, that I don't think that you need to spend the money on them I do have one of her powder blushes that is just like whatever I, I can't stand her eyeshadows so I'm not like a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan but this magic cream was truly magical like what my skin looked like and felt like while using this magic cream for the I think three weeks that I was able to use this little tiny sample because a little double do you was I mean I I would repur that magic cream is like a hundred bucks <laughs> I would repurchase it over and over and over again I also have these which you know from the skincare realm I have this aqua Moisture Raccoon face mask. This was supposed to be for refining and deeply moisturizing my skin. I don't feel like my skin was deeply moisturized after using this, but it's just a, a one-time use sheet mask. And then this one was the Ceramedic Age Control Multivita Vitamin Mask. And I, again, don't feel like my skin was 
long-term change by using this sure it helps in a pinch in the moment um it was really good for you know making my skin have like a shock of like when you're shocking a pool like a shock of vitamin c but i don't think that my skin was changed long term because i used it i have these hero mighty patches like i have a lot of acne patches these are by far the very best acne patches and i don't know if you know this you probably do because i am new to trying these and probably the last person who has tried them on the planet but these are so good i had some truly ones i've had some off-brand ones i really do like these they're dang spendy for six patches i think it's like 20 bucks maybe even more but really great patches i initially bought some for my daughter and then pulled some out for myself as well and i just because i get the random acne i did have like a big issue because of the product that I was using in my um, shop my stash a new primer to me that obviously my skin did not love and so I had all six of these dots like all over my skin and it helped pull all the grossness out of my skin except for in this one spot that I'm still kind of dealing with right now I think that it just was too saturated with whatever it was that my skin wasn't like and I think it was the SPF and the product um I also have these Cetaphil cleansing wipes I don't buy these anymore I don't really love the thought process of buying wipes to cleanse my face my skin my whatever number one you shouldn't use those to cleanse your face because they will dry you out they are in my humble opinion they don't do anything for your skin they really don't i have magic magic erasers that i use i have like 12 of them on rotation so i don't buy those anymore but i did get this in gratis so i did use it i also had a friend buy me a pack of four from tj maxx because it, they're all betsy johnson themed and um so i'm using them because they were bought for me but i don't use them on my face and i certainly don't buy them but those ones were nice i liked these ones a lot because they didn't have an awful smell like these ones right now they smell like rose and i hate rose um but these ones they didn't have really a smell except for a nice like clean smell and they didn't leave behind like an oily residue like the Neutrogena wipes do so I really did like those but there I think there was like 10 cloths in here yeah I mean it was just a, a little tiny sample pack I think there's 10 cloths in there moving on to cleansers and I believe this is the last of it I do have this this is my makeup brush cleanser this cleanser is by Cinema Secrets it's been you know pretty heavily promoted on my channel and almost every single empties I've ever done this is something that I use to clean my brushes after every single use. It is quick drying. It kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria and does a really good job of cleaning, you know, out brushes in a, in a pinch. With that said, I also take like some of my more heavy duty used brushes like my foundation brushes or like my uh, cream blush brushes or whatever and do a deep clean on those once a month as well or maybe even some of my stained eyeshadow brushes and do a deep clean on those once a month as well this is not going to deep clean your brushes but it is a really great product to use in a pinch and get rid of the bacteria that could be growing in your brushes from use to use I also have a couple of like sample size skincare things. I do have this um, MAC Cleanse Off Oil that I use through Turn and Burn. This isn't even sold anymore. I do know that they have another skincare line that they came out with that discontinued this. This was lovely. I did like it a lot and um, I think it's a shame that you can't buy it anymore. However, my go-to is the Dermalogica pre-cleanse I love this this hands down is the best cleanser it smells really good kind of like minty almost it 
feels fresh and clean on your face and is amazing and I thought that I would try the pre-cleanse balm which is the balm version of this because I like a balm cleanser as well I didn't like this nearly as much and I had a full size of this and a not so full size of that but with that said I just feel like it is too thick in there to come out of that hole and then this hole in the way that it should it's just it's just so thick it's it's pretty thick I think that if they want to do a balm like this then they should figure out a different way of and I know that this is a cleaner way of having a makeup cleansing balm than a tub where you are digging your hands into it but I prefer a tub over this because I, I mean it's just it's just hard it's hard it's hard to use the balm can get stiff in there depending on the temperature of your room I just it's just a hard it's hard I didn't love it as much as I love the pre-cleanse itself so I do think that about two of these I do have another one in there so I will use it because I love it but it's not my favorite is the liquid pre-cleanse but with that said that is it that is all for my quarterly empties and I feel like from a beauty perspective I feel like there isn't very much here and I feel like I am not doing um, myself a really good job of making sure like my skin is taken care of or the whatever like I don't go through shampoo very often because I only wash my hair because of the vivids like once every 10 days or so I do go through typically a lot of dry shampoo so I'm really surprised that there's only one in here like I said I'm surprised there's only one foaming hand soap in here I wash my hands all the time so how is there only one in here I am wondering if some just inadvertently got thrown away because I can't see that this could ab absolutely be and you know my kids don't always bring me the empties out of their bathroom we've discussed this before so um shave cream makes sense to me I don't shave every single day I don't know what it is but my hair where I shave doesn't grow super fast the hair on my head does but I don't I don't know what it is specifically my leg hair like why doesn't it grow very fast it's so weird from a cleanser perspective I know that cleanser takes me an awful long time to go through I'm really not frugal with it so to speak but um like it just doesn't take very much for me to use a cleanser so I, I feel like this is probably right but I've only got two full-size serums I do have a lot of like trial size or um, samples or mini serums and moisturizers I also have this moisturizer that I've been working on for what feels like four years and it's almost um, it hasn't been four years really but um, it's almost gone but it's just not quite there so I don't know I feel like this isn't enough but I also feel like this is all that is in my bucket so that is what we have today <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me today I hope that you and yours are well don't forget to hit me up down in the comment section let me know what you think about the empties let me know what you emptied in the last quarter I would be interested to hear from you I would be interested to hear all the things from you guys and with that said I appreciate every single one of you for being here today I hope that you and yours are well I hope that you are all safe and healthy and getting along as best that you can I hope that you are all loving each other being kind humans living your best life and until next time bye friends